Let's talk about that storm activity because it has been raucous across central New Mexico. The Sunport camera shows the original storm which moved from the west a little earlier this afternoon has pushed through. It brought a lot of wind up to 60 miles per hour, hail and uh, torrential rainfall. Also, we are seeing sort of the uh, the south end of another storm currently situated in parts of Albuquerque. So, of course, whenever we get storms like this, uh, keep a very close eye on the arroyos. This one is the North Diversion Channel at Manal. Within this shot, you can see some rain falling and even the possibility of some small hail. I know that with this storm, there has been some small hail reported in it. So as it traverses across the city, now making its way toward areas like Osuna and Eubank, uh, just really crossing the center of the Northeast Heights. This will continue to pick up those wind speeds and also uh, cause some brief heavy downpours. Of course, the timing isn't great. Right now is rush hour. So if you have to travel within that area of the city, give it about 15 minutes and it should already be gone um, and then you can head home. Otherwise, we're expecting uh, to see some more rain from Bernalillo up toward Algodones, a good storm, a strong storm now sweeping across that area. And, you know, we're fortunate to get storms like this because some dry air has really been doing a number on New Mexico over the last few days. But despite that, we're seeing some really good activity stretching from San Juan County uh, out toward the east uh, areas like the Española Valley. A big thunderstorm right there. Look at all those lightning strikes. And then you can see for areas uh, like Pinasco toward Taos getting some rain on the ground there. Going to be keeping an eye on the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon burn scar as always. At this moment, there are no uh, active flash flooding concerns. You can see that south central New Mexico out toward the eastern area of the state getting uh, just a few showers out there. Uh, but the big picture shows that the moisture is in general moving from the west to the east. So future cast says by about 7 o'clock tonight, Night. We'll continue to get that chance of rain across central New Mexico, eventually moving out toward eastern areas, even all the way down south toward Hobbs in Lee County. And then you can see that as we start getting toward the overnight hours, things should subside. That dry air I mentioned is really going to continue to move in by Tuesday. So that's going to swat a lot of the rain chances out of here by four in the afternoon. I'm thinking northeastern New Mexico, maybe eastern areas of the state. But as far as that dry trend goes, it's really going to set up in high gear for tomorrow. It's going to be staying that way. In fact, by Wednesday, turning downright hot across southeastern New Mexico. By Thursday, though, there's going to be another little pop of moisture. This time it's going to be for southeastern New Mexico. And then by Friday, dry air takes over once again. That means wind speeds will be picking up. Now, as we start looking across the southwest, you can see that with the absence of rain, we're really talking about hot weather returning. So Tuesday, Wednesday, going to be the hottest days of the week for Roswell. Then some rain chances cool you down by Thursday. Across the southwest, it's going to be a mostly sunny day. I think the dry air... It just wins out in this area, even from reserve to Silver City. Now, the Northwest, this is an area which also uh, seems to be getting that pretty good rain today. It's not the chance that we're looking at for tomorrow, but Thursday, some rain shall return. We're expecting the North Mountains across the area about 78 degrees for uh, places like Santa Fe with a 30% chance of rain by Thursday. Across the Northeast, I think it's going to be dry. There is that slight chance from Raton down toward Clayton and Roy that we could get some afternoon thunderstorms. But as far as the East Mountains go into the Albuquerque Metro, I think just too much dry air is going to infiltrate all levels of the atmosphere. It's going to make it very hard to get any, uh, you know, measurable rain on the ground. So we're talking 86 tomorrow for your high in Rio Rancho, about the same in Albuquerque. And that forecast for Thursday showing some rain. Hey, the first day of fall by Saturday, bringing in some 70s for the high.